What is going on, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Game Facts with your host, as always, KMAC Time. Today, we're talking about one of the greatest series of all time. Of course, we're talking about the Star Fox series. Go ahead and jump into some crazy facts you may, may not know about this game series. Let's go ahead and jump right into this with fact number one. Now, Star Fox for the Super Nintendo was the first 3D console game that Nintendo had ever produced. And this game was actually known as Star Wing in Europe. And where it was known as Star Fox in the United States. Same was true for Star Fox 64. It was called Lilat Wars in, in Europe. Our next interesting fact has to do with the F-Zero series, mainly the F-Zero X and F-Zero GX games for the N64 and the GameCube. Now, in these games, there is a playable character, a human version of James McCloud, which is Fox's father. He plays as a, as a playable racer, like I said, in both F-Zero X and GX, and he has a vehicle which is the, called the Little Wavern, which strongly resembles the R-Wing that Fox and his teammates pilot. As you can see here, um, he kind of looks like a human version of Fox, and he drives like a Star or R Wing looking racer. Very cool, very interesting fact, very cool stuff. Our next fact has to do with the fact that do a barrel roll has become a giant meme throughout the internet, and Peppy's always telling you to do it. Very, very funny thing. Everyone's always do a barrel roll when you get in trouble, something like that. Very, very funny stuff. But did you know that they're not actually doing a barrel roll here? In fact, doing an aileron roll. Wow, that is a tough word to pronounce. Aileron roll. Um, basically, there's a difference between the two, a uh, very slight difference. One, and I'll show there's a very good graphic of this, but you don't actually get to do an, an actual barrel roll in F until Star Fox Assault. Or you can actually do a barrel roll. But in the first couple games, you could not do a barrel, an actual barrel roll. You're doing an aileron roll. As you can see here, there is a very distinct difference. Um, I'm not a pilot, so I couldn't explain it to you, but you can see from the, from the, from the graphic, they are, in fact, different. And, pep and Peppy was telling you to do the wrong shit the whole time. What an asshole. Another interesting fact is that there's actually another game called Star Fox 2 for the Super Nintendo. It was actually fully completed, but was never released. It was scrapped, and Nintendo just kind of let this thing just die. I mean, the full game is out there. You can actually find a ROM of this and play the entire game. It was finished well, from start to end. It was completely finished, but due to the... Uh, N64 coming out and they didn't want to release a game for the Super Nintendo. They wanted to save it for the Nintendo 64 So they just completely scrapped it and they it's it's rumored that that over 30% of this game made it into the actual N64 version of the game, but like I said this full game is out there You can play this ROM very cool stuff if you're a big fan of the series You can download this ROM and play it very very fun very actually very cool stuff a lot of cool things made it into this game um, very interesting game uh, very, very cool. I, I was unaware of this. There was actually another sequel out there that was on release. So if you guys are a big fan of the series, go ahead and check that out. Now, as you know, the Star Fox has a very, very good part in the Smash Bros. game. And there's actually these hidden taunts in Smash Bros. Brawl and Melee. As you see here, you can they, if you do the certain button combination in Melee, they come up. And they also do it in Brawl. And they have these sequences where the characters come in and talk. I'm going to let this roll out and I'll just let you guys hear what they have to say real quick. After all, what fun is there to be had in peace and quiet? A real warrior can only live on the battlefield. Then why don't you show me what a real warrior is like, Buzzball? I'm ready if you are. Our next interesting fact is recently in an interview, the creators of Star Fox revealed that Falco is actually based on a pheasant, not a falcon. This is absolutely mind-blowing. And if you look at a picture of a pheasant, it actually looks more like it than a falcon. And that is absolutely mind-blowing. My whole life has been a lie. Next up, the movie Independence Day may have played a role in the development of Star Fox 64. As you see here, this is a screenshot from the Independence Day movie where the mother mothership comes over the Earth and you know does this thing and there's actually a scene in Star Fox 64 that is very very reminiscent of this you see here it looks very very similar and on top of that in the Star Fox 64 game the Bill character right here his name is Bill Gray who is seemingly named after William Gray which is the main character from Independence Day so very very possible that this scene or maybe other parts of the game were, were based off of that movie came out just before this a couple years before that this game uh, very interesting stuff and I did not know that so hopefully you guys didn't know it either it's also been, uh, kind of confirmed that General Pepper's 
name appears to be based off of the very famous Beatles album, which is Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. Very popular Beatles album. I love that song, too. Very cool song. Um, but if you look at the outfits here, they're very similar. This is the outfits that the Beatles wore on their album cover. Very, very similar to Sgt. Pepper, or excuse me, General Pepper, which is really cool because I love the Beatles and I love Star Fox. Our next fact is that R.O.B. or Rob 64, the character from Star Fox, was originally known as N.U.S. 64 or Nus 64 in Japan. And he's still known as that in Japan, actually. It stands for Nintendo Ultra 64, which is the original name for the N64 in Japan and actually in the United States, too. As you see here, it says N.U.S. Stand, like I said, it stands for the Nintendo Ultra 64. Uh, uh, ultimately, that was changed to just the Nintendo 64, which I think is way better. And uh, the name was changed to ROB64 in North America. Very cool stuff. And finally, there is a Star Fox manga that exists that's called Farewell Beloved Falco, which depicts some of the events that occurred in the eight years gap between the Lilat Wars and Star Fox Adventures. Uh, these include reasons why Falco left the team and, a, and it has a whole new antagonist called Captain Shears. Um, you know, it's, it's something that has to do with uh, cloning Andross or something along those lines. Uh, it only came out in Japan, but there is a North American version that some people online have dubbed. Very cool stuff. Of, you can probably find it online. But that is all we have time for, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comment section if you guys knew any of these facts or if you guys didn't know any of these facts. Also, in the comment section, I'd love to see uh, what game I should do next. You guys can leave suggestions for that. Um, make sure you guys like this video. I really do appreciate it. It helps my channel immensely when you guys hit that like button. So go ahead and show that some love. If you guys are new around here, you guys can feel free to subscribe to my channel for all of these videos and my series in your sub box from the right when they come out. As always, guys, have a great day. Game the fuck on. I will see you next time, guys. Peace out.